GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Generative means it can generate new data based on the data it was trained on. Pre-trained means it was initially trained on a large data set before being fine-tuned to be more specific. And transformer is a specific type of architecture. It can process data at the same time instead of having to process it piece by piece. You can use GPT for things like content creation, customer support, language translation, or even help with creative writing. One of the primary ways that AI helps humans is by increasing our productivity and efficiency. If you've ever experienced writer's block, GPT might be a great resource for you because it's very helpful in that beginning ideation phase. Or if you've ever seen an article or a post from someone that was just too long, you don't want to read it, you can feed that into GPT and generate a summary. GPT is the perfect TLDR tool. GPT is also really great for people like researchers or other professionals who have to comb through large amounts of data. A GPT can be very helpful because it can go through all that data really quickly. However, GPT is not perfect. There's a lot of conversation in the AI industry that GPT can lead to biased or sometimes even racist outputs because of the data it was trained on. ChatGPT was trained on all of the information on the internet, and humans created that information, humans who are naturally biased. So it's very normal for ChatGPT to give outputs that resemble these biases as well. Another issue revolves around accuracy and reliability of GPT outputs. Inaccurate responses from ChatGPT can have serious implications, especially if it's responding to a doctor in the medical industry. Users also have an ethical responsibility as well because they could use ChatGPT to create things like fake news or other deceptive content. Privacy is also a big area for concern. In order for GPT to to give us even better responses, we have to make it more specific by giving it more data, especially private data. Data needs to be secure, otherwise very important private information could get out. Transparency is also very important so that users who are viewing AI-generated content can make informed decisions. What happens when AI replicas get so good that you think you're interacting with your favorite politician or content creator, but it's actually just an AI version of them? There are also some people who think that training AI over all of the human information on the internet is just training AI to someday take over humans. And they're scared for their position in the world and their ability to make a, an income in the future. Do you think AI will make humans irrelevant? Or is it going to help make us more productive and happier? Let me know down below. Now there is a lot of work being done to resolve these limitations. OpenAI, the company that made ChatGPT, is actively researching and developing new ways to decrease or even completely eliminate bias in GPT responses. OpenAI is also working on resolving misinformation, security vulnerabilities, and their even thinking about ethical considerations. Other solutions to these problems could be incorporating filters to flag sensitive or inappropriate content, requiring user verification before accessing certain abilities, and ongoing research to continue improving the GPT system. Video games will get better because we'll use AI to create better characters. We'll use GPT to create one-to-one -one educational experiences for students so that every student can learn the way that they learn best. Content creation is gonna require less time because we'll have AI to automate a lot of the tedious tasks. I have more hours in the week now. Medical research is gonna get so much faster. I mean, imagine if we actually found the cure for cancer 
cancer in our lifetimes. There's a lot to be excited for, so I'll keep giving you the pros and the cons. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out this video where I go into the three phases of AI, A-N-I, A-G-I, and A-S-I. By the way, I look really put together up here, but it's raining outside, so I'm gonna go be lazy. <laughs>